Schools are at the heart of a vibrant and growing community. Bonneville District Schools rank among the very best in the state. 85% of our comprehensive schools are four and five star schools for excellence. In fact, more and more people are moving into our community because of the lifestyle we enjoy and the quality education our schools provide. In 2005, our student enrollment was at 7,000 students. Since then, we've been growing at 400 students a year. And that brings us to this year, we have 11,000 students. That's a new elementary school filled up every single year. In fact, we've built six since that time. The first students to attend the new elementary schools are now in middle school and high school. This year we have over 3,000 high school students. This is 500 more students than our high schools were built to accommodate. Looking ahead, each incoming grade is larger than the one before. For example, our freshman class has 200 more students than our seniors that will be graduating. And our growth will escalate as larger and larger classes continue to come into our secondary schools. Our ever-growing student enrollment has created the need for new buses. The number of students riding our buses has increased by nearly 40% over the last decade. Today we are busing nearly 4,500 students to and from school safely each day. By building new elementary schools in key locations, we've been able to reduce the time and miles on many of our bus routes. This in turn keeps our costs low. However, we do not have enough buses to keep up with the current growth in our school community. We haven't been taking this growth sitting back. We have taken a number of steps to help accommodate for this growth in our secondary schools. In 2006, Rocky Mountain and Sand Creek were filled to capacity, so we moved our sixth grade students out of the middle school back to the elementary schools. This was a good solution, but with continued growth, our middle schools are again filled to capacity. In 2012, we opened Technical Careers High School to help give us students career choices while still in high school and help the overcrowding problems at Montevallo and Hillcrest. This year we have over 300 students attending our school. In 2010, School District 93 started Bonneville Online Schools. Currently there are over 150 students in grades 7 through 12 taking at least one online class from home. In the Bonneville District, we are very proud of the fact that we try and offer as many different learning opportunities that are innovative and try and reach the learning styles of each of our students but our traditional high schools are just still too small for the growing numbers of students. So we've been using temporary classrooms, portable units. One out of every five classes taught at the high school level is done in a portable classroom. This is just a short-term solution. In 2009, we began using modular classrooms at our high schools. This year, we have 21 modular classrooms at Bonneville and Hillcrest. This means that we have 20% of our students attending classes in temporary classrooms. While the portable classrooms have worked as a short-term solution for classroom space, the schools are beyond their capacity in hallways, restrooms, cafeterias, gymnasiums, and other common spaces. When classes change at Hillcrest High School, it is so crowded that students are shoulder to shoulder in the hallways. Students have even figured out it's quicker to walk around the building to get to their next class on time. At Hillcrest, only half of our students can fit in the cafeteria, so many of them choose to leave campus to get lunch. The middle schools have made changes to improve safety in the face of overcrowding. At Rocky Mountain Middle School, we had to implement a no backpack rule. We had students that were taking backpacks into the classroom, um, and if there are 30 students in a class, 30 backpacks just weren't going to fit in the classroom. Also, with students walking down the hallways, it started to become a safety issue. Uh, a, a student with a big backpack may run into another student as they're trying to get in and out of their locker, and the congestion was just too much. Crowding has created challenges at lunchtime. The middle schools run two different lunch periods for their students. At Bonneville High School, the crowding issues affect our students on a daily basis. It's difficult for our students to maneuver through the hallways to get to class on time. They oftentimes feel like a fish swimming upstream. At Bonneville, the cafeteria is just so small that students spill over into the commons and down the hallways just to find places to eat. There just isn't enough room here at Bonneville. Inevitably, we have to build a high school. If not now, when? And it seems to me, rather than patching the district to get by again and again, it's time to actually do something that's going to help us long term. 
with six schools being built in the last eight years, there's got to be a place for those younger um, kindergarten through sixth grade kids to go to because there's only two high schools and two middle schools currently and 13 elementary schools. Our classrooms are overcrowded, but not only are there too many students in each classroom per teacher, but the classrooms are too small to handle the number of students in them. The temporary solutions that we have been using will no longer stem the tide of growth that will continue to come. A permanent solution has to be found. After considering many of the different plans and ideas from a broad cross-section of our community, we have decided that building a new high school and a new middle school was the best option for our students and also our community. And over 85% of our patrons and our students have shown support for this option. Building two new schools and providing the necessary renovations at our existing facilities will require the passage of a $92 million bond levy. This will mean the average homeowner will pay an additional $10.25 per $100,000 of their taxable home value monthly, about $0.34 cents per day. For the past eight years, we've been able to meet the demand of our growing student population by building new facilities. In that time, we have built six new elementary schools, our Performing Arts Center, an auxiliary gym, many classroom additions, three new libraries, two cafeterias, a technology center, and many, many other projects. And we've done all of this without increasing the tax levy rate. In fact, since 2005, the tax levy rate has dropped. Before considering the decision for a new building bond, uh, we looked at uh, other alternatives which would uh, not uh, necessarily uh, increase the levy rate. Uh, these would be including split session and even the possibility of a year-round school. We looked hard at all of our options before making this decision. In the end, we felt other ideas would have had too much of a negative impact on our students' education and on families. For example, if we were to run split sessions, some students would be getting on school buses at 5 a.m. Others wouldn't be getting home until well after 7 p.m. Year-round schooling would have a huge impact on students' work schedules, family vacations, and extracurricular activities. We felt both of these options would create too much hardship for our students, families, and the community. 87% of the responses to our survey agreed with this decision. We believe great schools make great communities. Thanks to the support of our patrons, we have been able to build wonderful facilities that have become community centers where students and families come together and learn. Our elementary schools provide gym space and fields for Little League basketball, soccer, and for football teams. The new gym at Bonneville is used for community sports and events. The Performing Arts Center at Hillcrest is filled nearly every night with events that bring our community together. A growing school district is a good problem to have. While it does present many challenges, it also presents opportunities for our students. And when our students are successful, we are all successful. Our schools, our families, our homes, our businesses, we all benefit from a quality education that our schools provide. The need is real. The time is now. We cannot wait any longer if we want to continue the tradition of excellence for the children in the Bonneville School District 93.